everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a review on this wig and this is called Outre Brenda and this is what the packaging looks like so yeah as you can see that's what it looks like on the packaging and that's what it looks like here so this wig is very similar to the packaging however to me it does look a little bit different on me and when I try to style it well one it doesn't come off the packaging looking like that and two when I did try and style it it just wasn't working for me personally like that in a hairstyle so um yeah I just styled it the way um, that it would fit me these ends is just still not doing what I needed to do but like right here this thing this is really cute I do like that and then on this side this is cute how they have this little slip layer thing going on into a curl I like that also I purchased this wig from seamsbeauty.com and it was $20 however you can now get this from wigtakes.com and it's only $14.94 $15 uh, so for it to be a $15 $20 wig I think it's okay um it's really cute I want to say this is about like 12 maybe 14 inches so it's not long at all it can be like an everyday wig so let me do a 360 view for you so you can see the whole wig so this is actually all the hair to the front if we all that together make you want me cause I'm hot now I'm gone I'm going to be one of those units as you can see like when I was like moving around too much This is going to be one of those units where you have to you know constantly kind of keep styling all day Because just like you can see if it's all to the back and then you flip it back to the front You know it's just not going to really fall back in place how you want it Um, That's one of the cons about this wig is that you know you'll have to probably keep styling it to your liking throughout the day as you guys can see here oh maybe you can't okay as I'm going through it is shedding so I'm going to get in quite a bit of shedding from his wig as you can see but it's not too much shedding it's nothing like too crazy see I went through one time again here and I got nothing but this um wig is very big hip friendly when I first put it on I had like plenty a room actually I had to adjust this um so it's like crisscrossing to put it on the tightest settings another problem I'm having with this wig is the skin to parting here I mean I tried to somewhat get it together I mean it's not quite to my liking I mean of course I don't like skin top wigs as much as I like lace fronts but usually it works for me a little bit more this one I've been working on it a lot so yeah so that's like one kind to this wig of it being so cheap you don't get lace this is a skin top part also when I first put this wig on I don't know if it's my braiding pattern or not but I did have a little hump here and I just took my flat iron and just held it there um for a little while and it went down I think it looks pretty good now I don't think it looks too lumpy I mean it's still not laying as flat as I would personally like it but it's laying down a lot flatter so this has one comb like right here in the front like one longer comb and then it has one comb in the back and then it has the adjustable strap I have not mentioned this is um, a synthetic wig and it is heat iron safe up to 400 degrees so you definitely can go in if you wanted to to restyle it which I think I will be doing especially to these ends that's what the part looks like because this is a deep part but I think this is really good for people who do not like cutting lace and beginners because there is not any lace to cut and it's not too much styling that you have to do with this unit so I think that's everything there is to know about this wig if you have any more questions leave them down below and thank you so much for watching my video to the very end and I will see you in my next video